Alright, welcome back everybody to First Attack. Uh, it's me, James Chen, along with Mr. Choi Sauce here, doing the character tutorials like we did for Guilty Gear Exit Sign. Mm -hmm. In case you guys are just tuning in for these character tutorials and wondering where the Revelator tutorials are for the returning characters, they're mostly all the same, so you can just look at the old ones that we did, and this is just going to cover the new characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So first character we're gonna go over is Johnny. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any notes for Johnny, but you know we, we got we, we, <laughs> we got a little help from uh, Kizzy K, and then uh, uh -huh. we're gonna mix it in with a little bit of what. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean again, is. this is basics, so I can cover basics. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a lot of advanced stuff, but definitely for sure, um, uh, I could talk about Johnny and generally how he plays. Yeah. yeah so, so, but for those who don't know, Kizzy K, oh man. He's on the up and he's he's rising up, man. Yeah. Rise, he's rising up. <laughs> you know, he's rising up. So like, uh, what's funny is like he told me that he's on Japan's hit list. Oh really? He's on their hit list. So he oh, said, watch out for this guy. Okay. Because okay, they've they've been okay. watching us, you know. Interesting. So because so. I know it's him and Kid Viper is doing super yeah. well with Johnny as well. Mm -hmm. And in fact, um, you know, this is. Not timely if you're watching this on YouTube, but Kid Viper just got signed yeah, by Cognitive Cog, Gaming, yeah. so yeah. Congrats to him. Yeah, good stuff, good so, stuff. Yeah, so Johnny, such a good character. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. I mean, look, I've been using Johnny forever in XX, or I used him since X, and then played him, and every game he got worse and worse and worse and worse, until Accent Core Plus R. But um, previous to that, he kept getting like nerfed little bits here and there, and then this game came out, and they're like, you know what, Every all your suffering here, Take this character. You are amazing now. This character is God. Like I use him and I love this character and even I'm like, Jesus is so broken. You, you feel a little disgusted. Huh? <laughs> As you should. I yeah. don't know. But you know, maybe you deserve it. So yeah, for, yeah. for all the years of suffering, but exactly. it's okay. Anyways, well let's let's show the folks. Yeah. What they're in for. So character archetype. So the way I mean it's interesting because this character is really different than most of the other um, like he doesn't really have like a standard zoning or he's not a rushdown. It's really just kind of about um, the coin, the coin system. You want to hit someone with the coins and once you get them with a coin, all of a sudden, so he has these special moves called mist finders right here, right? And uh, after you hit him with the coin, so for example, without hitting with the coin, you see that kind of pops him this way or the low one just knocks him down right away. If I hit him with the coin, all of a sudden it pops him up. Combo and, time. And I can do some sick ass combos <laughs> off of that, right? So really for him, Johnny is about fishing into coins, right? So you gotta find a way to land coins. And then once you get them in the coins, it's about maintaining that state. Mm -hmm. Because uh, combos will lead to more coins. Yeah, which I, I think I would, I would probably consider him like a like a mid range zoner kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then like the plus pressure type character because he can lay on a thick pressure. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean the one thing that he couldn't really do well before Revelator was once he hit you with a coin. Once he started a combo, it was really hard to recoin mm. and get a significant setup off of it. But in this game, now when he coins you, <laughs> if he hits you again, he can get a coin in the middle of the combo, get a hard knockdown, force you to get up, and then uh, what happens is he has this move here, which is miss, the mist right here. And so block really quick. Once you oh. get covered by the mist, you cannot block the mist finder. Yeah. And that's basically Johnny's gimmick. His whole gimmick is that he tries to hit you with a coin, so don't block for a second. So you'll notice right now, if I start the Mist Finder, you'll look at the bottom above my super meter in the bottom yeah. left, that it says level one, and there's coins down there. Let me, let me do something really quick, because just to make it uh, more accurate here, I'm going to change my coins to default. You only get, by, at the start, eight coins. So every time I throw the coin, now I have no coins. So I, have, I cannot power up my Mist Finder anymore. So you really have a, a resource management that you have to deal with here with these coins here. You don't want to just go throwing them willy-nilly all over the place because if you run out of coins, it's a problem, right? But um, once you hit it once with a coin, you notice when I start doing my Mist Fighter, it says level 2. And if I hit him with another coin, now level it goes three. to level 3. So level 3 is max, and level 3 just means way more damage and also uh, bigger combos. better mm -hmm. combos. Exactly. So. His whole game plan right now is to hit you with a coin, and then if he hits you with a combo, for example, like he can keep combos going with more coins. Yeah, so he just wants to keep that momentum going with Oops. keeping his level high. Right. And then that way it's like, you know, what he is going to put you in a situation where he's going to like right. you know, uh -huh. redo it again, basically. <laughs> Let me try one more time. Yeah. Ooh. 
don't walk forward. Actually, walk forward just a little bit here. So we can get the right distance here. Oops, coming forward a little bit. Yeah, and then you end with this move right here, and that would cause the knockdown here, and then he would fall in the corner. I'd be able to throw out a mist, YRC it. Oh no. And then you're stuck here, and then I get this 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 combo here. So so in other words, like if you're in the mist here. So if you're in the mist here, and then there's nothing you can do about this, and then I get to recoin you again, and then yeah. keep going over and over and over again. So that's kind of what Johnny's about. He's trying to get you with the coin, and then keep you locked in that situation yeah, with the that whole high entire damage time. Combo. Yeah. Um, the other thing too is that um, you notice that I can hold the button here like this, right? Once I activate the mist finder, mist finder is quarter circle back or two on four plus punch, kick, or slash. And uh, so punch goes up, kick goes straight, and slash goes down. If I hold the buttons, I can cancel it with heavy slash. Mm. And so that actually becomes one of Johnny's gimmicks too, is learning how to miscancel your moves. So normally if I do this, I'm in huge delay. See, I'm gonna hold up afterwards. See how long it takes me to jump, right? So what you actually want to learn how to do is miscancel your moves. Mm. So if I do heavy slash, I can make my moves recover faster. Now, that's a level one. If I hit him with a level two, the faster, it, it's faster now. Whoops, let me do it one more time. So Ooh. now it's even faster. So just hold back in the corner really quick. So if you're really good at this point, you can start doing crazy things yeah, like, like... crazy pressure. Yeah, exactly. So. And I'm scared. <laughs> you get hit by a coin again real quick. So yeah, so just block. You can just be like, oh, I'm going to do this all day. You know, and then yeah. you got to deal with this pressure off of miss cancels and such. And then your guard meter builds up, then I hit you once and you die. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Yeah. And then when you're level three, it's even faster, right? Yeah. Then so if I hit you at level three, then it's just like oh. Oh god. Because basically the way, if you notice one thing, when I'm at level two, I do it by hitting like kick and then heavy slash to cancel. Uh -huh. When you're at level three, like just get hit by this, I can just do two one four and just hit both, both buttons at the wow. same time, and wow. it's an automatic cancel, That's right? Awesome. So so it's just like. That makes it easier. Yeah, uh huh. It was never like that before, but at level three, that's how it works. So you can just go crazy with that, and it's like that's it's ridiculous. And then, of course, in this game, they decided to make it so that instead of having those in like in Senga in the air, they gave him Miss Finer in, in the, the air. air. Yeah. So he has Miss Finer in the air now. So all that coin stuff that you're doing. So like, if I hit you with a coin, you know. I can do boom and then get you off the wall yeah. and still keep doing stuff like that from the air now. Yeah. Which you never had before in any of the other games. And I think the jump uh, slash version is the is an overhead, right? Yeah, the jump slash version. Yeah, it's an overhead. overhead. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. So, good. so if I hit you with a coin, for example, then I can like jump cancel oh, it and hit you and then I can like keep combos going and stuff like that. So um, one thing, another thing they also gave Johnny in this game well, not only that, but I, I should just mention that the um, like this move is really useful because it used to be super hard to get one hit in Sengas without using meter for the hard knockdown in the corner. But now if you study all of Johnny's combos, well, it's missing on Jacko, yeah, but um, if it only hits that one hit, you get that hard knockdown, you activate miss, Y or C, come in and, and yeah. basically kill people. Yeah. <laughs> So that move is really good. Yeah. That move is really good. But um, especially, uh, I see a lot of people they do the, they do that kick move, uh, the fire kick move, uh -huh, and then uh -huh. like they YRC. Vihander, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. it's Vihander, and then like it, yeah. you're in like a million, let me, let me million years of blocks then. Don't block. Yeah. So then, oh. And then you're dead. Yeah. Pretty much. Then I get my crazy combo because you can't block that. Yeah, I would have to like crazy blitz things. it on, uh, to figure it out, but mm -hmm. th that's a, still a guess between low and mid, which is crazy. Right. But then, then the other nice thing is, so before when you ran out of coins, you were kind of SOL, right? But in this game, they gave him a new super, which is half circle back towards with slash, and if you hit the enemy, you'll get two items that's customized to the character. So Jacko, for example, I get lollipops. two lollipops. Oh, lollipops. Oh, yeah, okay, so now great. instead of coins, I'm throwing lollipops. <laughs> so you can replenish your coins in this game. And then they gave him this move, too, which is crouch oh. heavy. 
which puts them airborne, which lets you mist cancel. So you can actually do that oh kind of pressure like that. <laughs> so if they're actually blocking, then you can come in like this. So, I mean. That's like, crazy. Dude, I don't know. That's crazy. Dude, they look so good. He's so good. And this crouching slash never used to reach this far. Oh. In any of the other games. Now he has this, like, hold back. Wow. He gets a low from, like, this far, which he never had before. Dude, I don't, dude, he's so good. He's so good. <laughs> he's so good, so. Just play Johnny. Yeah, there you go. So that's kind of the, the gimmicks of Johnny, and that's kind of his game system yeah. that he's trying to it's play. Got a lot going for him, for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. So it, it's interesting because, like, normally if you do, like, a combo like this, for example, you can get good damage like this, like, if, like doing combos like that, but you really want to trade the damage because coins really prorate your combos really mm. badly get no damage from combos with coins in the middle but since you can keep leading up to everything like even in the corner for example if I do something like this I can actually get a coin like that nice. right so <laughs> like you everything leads to a coin for Johnny so which is not which is nice so yeah uh, yeah so some people said that he's probably gonna get nerfed and most I, likely yeah most uh, likely. I wouldn't be surprised like I'm playing him Knowing full well that this character is most likely going to get nerfed at some point, but we'll, we'll update it if we if that yeah. ever happens. So. We'll see. Maybe with the the Dizzy uh, DLC, mm -hmm. we'll see if it happens. Yeah, but his basic game plan really is about landing that first coin, mm -hmm. and then once you land that first coin, converting every hit into a, a misfinder, yeah. into a big recoin, into a setup, and if you have meter misfinder, unblockable setups. And uh, the number one way that you normally get coins is going to be off of a sweep into coin or maybe even a throw into coin, you know, something mm -hmm. like that, right? So there he is. You, you basically learn two sets of combos with Johnny, the get him coined combo and then the post coined combo. Mm -hmm. And that's basically um, Johnny's main game plan. And then at that point, the best Johnnies are the ones that once they do get you coined, they can convert any hit into a damage, yeah. ridiculous damage combo that leads to another coin that leads to more setups that's just and then you're dead <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so yeah so I guess some, some of the fundamentals you'll probably learn is like a little bit of zoning and like uh, combo paths I guess yeah. it's like, you know, uh -huh. so that's going to be a big thing and like converting off of big damage, right. and he is going to be pretty execution heavy because, like I said, for all the for all the yeah the cancel stuff, miss cancels. Yeah, those, that, that's probably that's probably going to be like the high level stuff that right. you know, someone's going to have to learn later. Right. So it's not going to be necessary yet as a beginner, but and then I, I think another thing, yeah, so eventually learn like pressure strings like that. So, but doing stuff like this is actually really fun for and some. Then, oh, and like then that. the overhead. <laughs> oh, check that out. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Uh, so someone in the chat mentioned about the Miss Stance Dash Treasure Hunt. That's probably a really high level mm. for now, but basically this super right here that gets you those meters back. So jump, jump, and if I hit you out of the air with it, you'll notice that you fell to the ground right uh -huh. away. You can actually do the super out of this mode right here while you're uh -huh. holding this like this. And if you hit it like this, he still falls. But you can actually do it while you're dashing. So while you're oh. holding the button, you can actually dash. So keep jumping now. So now if I do it, like if I get it right, oops, I didn't do it right. There it is. Now it pops Whoa. you up and I get juggles what? afterwards. Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, so you can actually, if you can get good at it, you can do it off of the sweep, but oh, it's wow. like almost frame perfect. Oh, I see. There's a, it's like a, a clean hit. Kind yeah, of it's yeah. one of the trials to do oh, stand, really? stand, kick, sweep into like, the miss dash cancel you can do it and if you oh, can wow. that's like super high level stuff but anyways don't learn that right away yeah. don't <laughs> make yourself learn that right away so anyways but, later later on you can learn yeah that. exactly that's, don't worry about that that is like the that's like level two high level stuff <laughs> right there for Johnny so um but if you want to beat this character I mean don't get hit <laughs> well I mean it's like you want you don't want him to start basically. Yeah. So you want to mm -hmm. smother him because he doesn't have really any good reversals mm -hmm. and like uh, you want to be in the ranges where you know. His super is his best reversal. Yeah, Outside that, of that he J. doesn't have a good reversal. Shoot the J. Yeah <laughs> and some people could like I don't even know can Jacko just crouch under it? Because she's so loaded. Okay Maybe. she can. Anyways but yeah so so you want to avoid the ranges where he's effective mm -hmm. and then like make him whiff stuff. Yeah. Because he can't do anything unless he touches you with, right. the, with the sword. 
The other thing, main thing about uh, Johnny as well is you notice his dash is not a run. So yeah. the mobility, only, mobility is a yeah, problem. The only thing, see, once I start dashing, the only thing I can cancel a dash with is a jump, mm. right? Not even so, the FD. Yeah, so I can't even, I can cancel the very end of it when I land into an FD, but otherwise I don't, Johnny's mobility is actually kind of limited. You notice his high jump is really Slow, yeah. tight. Oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't horizontal. go very far forward, right? So his real only way is to try to, try to instant air dash at you. So some characters who can keep him out can actually make it hard for Johnny. So mm, like yeah, I've heard, big zoners. I heard this fight is really bad. Like can be bad for Johnny mm, I can if see Jacko that, yeah. gets the minions out. Then like Johnny hates life yeah. at this. But point. I think for mobility, the one thing you gotta watch out for is when he does his flip and then he does the yeah when he yeah. comes so, up to so you. So you like gotta this. you gotta be ready for that. Right. So, the nice thing about this one, this move here, is that if he hits you with it, he doesn't get much off of it unless he has unless he has a meter yeah. cancel for it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, some people are saying like this super is safe on block, which is really good for Johnny, right? Mm. But um, I know, for example, Soul can sweep under it. Mm, yeah, he I'm can, sure. He can volcanic <laughs> viper under it and everything. Like people can low profile it, mm. so you can actually cause him problems there. So six K. Oh yeah, he has six K as a move. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, this is a good fishing move here as well. Because uh, the nice thing about it is if it hits, it launches, and then you, you can get combos. Or I think you can like get hit with this. I think on heavier characters mid screen, I can actually just get a coin. Yeah, it's, Jacko's kind of weird, so. Yeah, okay, you could have flipped out of that. So basically, you just get air combos here. And it's a really good move for him to get in there. And then if he has a YRC available, yeah. he can YRC it, go for throws mm -hmm. and such, or just use it for pressure, you know, like that. Yeah. Kind of like high 6K, but a lot better. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, it is, dude, my. So I used to play Johnny all the time, right? And my best friend. All he ever did was try to throw that move. Uh -huh. And he would do it like 90% so of the time. So as soon as he see it, like, you can see it? Yeah, he <laughs> God, drove me nuts. Uh -huh. So if you see a Johnny that's obsessed with that move, you can throw it at the right ranges. So, But yeah, um, yeah. so some people are saying in the chat that there's definitely a lot of uh, different weight classes in this mm, game. Yeah, so yeah, so that's, that's a factor. I yeah. mean, that's something you'll look up for, for the combos if you want to mm -hmm. learn those. So. It's basically light, medium, and heavy. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Right. And then they, the the hitboxes are different. Right, right. Like different. I just found out that earlier today that Venom's hitboxes. I hate his hitbox. God, ah. Nothing works on him. But <laughs> yeah. uh, that they were saying that like so crouch block real quick. That they're saying that this move is good because it's plus two on block. Oh wow. So even if you block it, I get an advantage oh, situation wow. like that. So so you know it, that's that's a good way for Johnny to get in. Basically, it's a good way to close distance. And then oh, and then I get yeah. like you know, pressure yeah. and stuff like that. But okay. yeah, if you can keep him out, zone him in, take advantage of his bad mobility, that's the best way you're going to be. Yeah, and, and pressure him and smother him, basically, yeah, uh -huh, before exactly. he can get started. Uh -huh. uh, but don't get don't get us wrong, like, this character's super good. Yeah. <laughs> so if, <laughs> you, tough. if tough. you get mauled by him, like, don't want, like, don't feel bad. <laughs> you might not necessarily be doing don't anything wrong. <laughs> um... So He's gonna be like the Chun Li of this of this game. He's one of the Chun Li's of yeah, this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Like everyone's gonna have tech against him, and you're gonna have to study it a little bit to, to so get, he, get past the great like, players. You know. He's basically top two or something top like three. that. Top, top, top three, at least top, right? at least yeah, top three okay. for sure. And then so yeah, so he had you know a couple of the super good moves that he had. probably far slash right. That's like one of his best. Uh, moves. Oh, far slash is a really good poke. So the interesting thing about it is is that um, far slash can't be chained into regular heavy punch. Oh. Right, it's only chainable in the towards heavy, or um, crouching heavy. You can't even go into sweep on it. But like, watch, stand there, don't don't block. You'll notice that that doesn't combo. That combos right there. But if you're crouching, if I hit you with this, then that combos. Yeah. Then the slash and the towards heavy slash combos. But in general, this is a decent poke. But this is gonna be your best friend oh. right here. Stand kick is like your best friend because this is. You fish in the sweep. You fish in the sweep, and that's how you get your coins. And of course, as I was saying during the break, like now I can do. Oh dang! Just hit. Yeah. So and just get hit, up. get hit really quick. I can actually dash forward, throw another coin, and get ah. a level three. And it's interesting because in all the old games, level three was bad. Like as a Johnny player, yeah, you you, you try to avoid the level three. But in this game, level three is so good because it, it like sticks you to the wall forever and just does a crap ton of damage. So 
But uh, yeah, stand, so they, they address that issue from the old games. Yeah. <laughs> stand kick is one of your best buttons here because it, it is confirmable into sweeps. You know, at certain ranges, it's also jump cancelable. Mm -hmm. So, so what's another good normal? Uh, right that? now, crouching slash, like Ooh, I said, is dang. super good now. Um, probably one of its longest range moves. It and hits it's low. low. It hits low. Why does this hit low? <laughs> uh, jumping slash is a good move here too, because you can see the range. It doesn't hit very far low, but it hits so it's a big far thing. straight. Yeah. So. If your opponent's trying to rush you down, you can kind of zone them out a little bit with that, you know, with kind of neutral jumping like that. So those are generally his best normal buttons okay. right there. So, um, and then like I said, once you start getting good at it, then, you know, you start getting all the crazy, yeah. you know, all the craziness going on yeah. there. So. Yeah. so, and then I think we explained what's some of his special properties for his moves, it looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, that's yeah. true, that's true, yeah. So, so we got that down. Uh, let me think what else is there. So he's got mist, he's got this, you can dash out of that. The, the, yeah. or the only thing is this move right here, there's two parts to it. Mm. So uh, one nice thing is if you do it up here and then like let it come out like this, this is a good tool for when you're in the air because you're really vulnerable in the air like that. People can run under you really easily. But the nice thing about it is if I do this right like that, that's a YRC. Yeah. So I can get attacks in there and I can hit the ground below me for only 25%. Because if I don't wire see it, I'm punishable the entire way down, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just like, woo, and then yeah. If if I miss with it, for example, yeah. like 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 this, and then you can just kill me like that. So if I actually wire see it, then I can actually start doing yeah. stuff on the way down. So, uh, but that's that's a that's a good move to have uh, in the air. If you just do it, it automatically does this. But off the ground, doing oh, it, it flip. Okay. just does a flip, and then hitting kick again yeah. does the follow up there. And Johnny sometimes will use it from a screen away to yeah, just fly, to fly over, just yeah. to fly over like that. Woo! <laughs> okay. And then we got his uh, two super moves. I think we showed him already. Oh, well, we haven't showed yeah. the. I mean, the the this one, the treasure hunt, is the one where I steal the stuff back. Like I said, if I dash cancel out of it, oops, um, uh, there it is right there. If I hit you out of the air, then it yeah. pops you really high up. Only if you dash cancel out of it again. Weird. Super, super <laughs> high level stuff, don't bother right now. And then he has the Shoot the J here, which, <laughs> which is... Which we nicknamed Shoot the J. <laughs> this is the one that's uh, burstable, basically. So do it with the burst, and then all of a sudden he just does this ton of damage on you. So, oh. yeah. so those are his specials right there. Super moves, yeah. Yeah, super moves. Overdrives, technically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, overdrives, overdrives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then... Um, Here. Top so, uses for meter. Uh, the best use for meter, without question. Oh yeah, there is a technique that you can use for Johnny to like dash, like, like what? dash faster, like this. Okay. Like if you hold a green block and then just kind of wiggle between left and right at a nice rate. Uh -huh. It's it's only a Johnny thing. So you dash the first time and then you kind of do it. And you can dash a little oh, faster, see. but um. That's again super high level yeah. stuff right there. But for the most part, what you're going to be using his meter for is for these coin lockdowns in the corner, you know, like this. Come over here, throw a coin, you know, they, they yeah. lock them back off, lock them down with a coin, force them to block, the mist, and then they die. That's unblockable, much. yeah. That's um, unblockable. <laughs> there's another way that you can do it as well that if you do this, I think, like, there's like a certain timing that I've seen people do where they'll do it and then they can yellow roll in so it only takes 25 percent but in general his meter will be used on offense for the for the mist traps and then on defense you're going to use it for shoot the J to get yourself out of bad situations it's his best defensive move because yeah. it is safe on block so oh yeah and he does gain a lot of meter from dashing as well because most characters gain a lot of meter when they run yeah and he can't run so he right. has to go a certain distance right. uh, anyway <laughs> So what happens for him, uh, let me start my attention gate at zero. Uh, it's not over yet. So if I just walk, I gain meter. Look how fast my meter gains from walking. I'm at a fourth of a bar now, right? But if I dash too, look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he just gets a lot of meter from walking forward. If you do that little dashing trick that I was showing you earlier, you actually do spend a lot of meter, I think, or... I, I, I've never gotten good at that yet, so, but, 
Yeah, and then I think the the Zweihander YRCs. That's probably another big use I see for, right. for, for most of the most of the players because they want to lock them down and like kind of scare them. <laughs> oh, I'm missing. Yeah, I can't move. <laughs> yeah, I can get in. There, so yeah. So yeah, some pretty good uses for that. And then uh, so we have what's the first like B and B that. You know, like a super, like a beginner Johnny so, player needs to learn. If you're a beginner Johnny player, the first combo you're gonna learn is stand, kick, sweep in the coin. That is the number one combo because that's what you're gonna fish for. To, to sweep in the coin, pretty much is like the number one way to get coin. So that's the first way. That's the first combo you're gonna learn. And then after that, uh, once you actually get him, then it's gonna be kick, heavy slash, and then you want to do the, the the slash, miss finer, and that knocks him down. And uh, if you want to do an easy combo, you just dash forward and do, for like example, standard so, air combo. So basically. do kick slash and then just vi hander like that, because oh, yeah. that actually easy. does a really good damage. And then if you have meter, you can do stuff like, and then keep the combo yeah, going, which does a lot more stuff. damage there. But after that, once you get to the next level of advancement, like I showed you before, um, that's when you start doing the, you know coin in the middle of that yeah. and all this other that's stuff. That's later on. Yeah, but that's level two. If you just want to start with him, learn this, and then once you get him with that, uh, if you're in the middle of the screen, do the slash follow-up, whoops, after they're at level one, and then dash forward and then do something there. Yeah. If you're close to the corner, then you want to do the kick misfinder, which causes them to tumble like that, and then you're going to learn like dash up, dash up, and then you can just, you know, do basic stuff off of so there you go. Yeah. That's and then, uh, so what's a what's a good block string for him for just a, just just in case like you know because actually if you just do stand kick sweep into coin it's a pretty good block string. That's a really good block string because here's the thing, coin look how fast I recover. Oh yeah, and so, keep the pressure going. Yeah, and I can keep the pressure. Going. You can trade with me in between there if I try to dash up like if you can get under the coin. Mm -hmm. But you see how it covers that space up there. The problem with that is you're wasting coins on yeah. block and you only have so many coins, right? Once you start learning how to miscancel, that doing kick heavy slash miscancel is your best block string, basically, because mm -hmm. there's really nothing anybody's going to do to punish you for doing that, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. that's the best one right there. Really <laughs> but coins are super valuable. They start really fast. They cover that space in front of you. You get a lot of pressure. So you can just use it to cover your approach in if you're really desperate. Mm -hmm. But like I said, be careful because you're wasting coins at that point in time. Okay. Yeah, so then the high level technique, you know, you want to learn the... the For the cheapest tactic. Oh, cheapest tactic. Cheapest tactics is all that misfinder stuff. Yeah. The, the misfinder, YRC, and then the worst part about it too is like, if normally when you do that, like if you knock them down, and you're over here and you activate the mist and YRC, you can throw coins like this, and there's like literally nothing they can do, <laughs> and then <laughs> boom, right? There's nothing they can do when they're getting up off the ground. They have to eat that whole entire thing. Yeah. And I don't even think I'm close enough that if you blitz shield my coin... Yeah, it's not gonna reject. Yeah, yeah see, I'm I'm way too far to even get rejected by yeah. that, so... So, I would probably have to hold it and hope that this yeah. works. <laughs> so, and then even then, when you see me hold it, you just go low. Right, <laughs> exactly. So, that is the cheapest tactic, for sure. <laughs> and then the high-level techniques, um, yeah, you're gonna learn all... So, yeah, miss cancel is a high-level technique. But, uh, again, wait, get hit really quick. It's best to do it starting from level two. If you're at level one, you can miss finer cancel, but it's not great. But once you get to level two, that's when you can start doing things like crazy things, you know. <laughs> what do you do, right? So you go for that. And then learning all the recoin combos. And then the last one is learning all of the combos that lead to the one hits by handers in the corner, you know, so that you get the hard knockdown like mm -hmm. this. So you'll start learning all the combos that will get you one hits by handers. Because uh, if you don't do it right, like, let me see if I can get it to happen. It'll hit twice, and then you can flip out of uh. it, right? So you want it to hit once, so you learn that. So it's going to be misfinder cancels, all of the recoin combos, because uh, even here in the corner, like, you get, like, and then there's, like, crazy things, like, and then you recoin yeah. here, knock down, and all this yeah, stuff. You start learning all these stuff. <laughs> stupid combos in the corner, and it's going to be character-specific, so you're going to have to learn 
different combos for yeah, every for each character. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Players so, to watch. Players to watch. Oh, so I know Kizzy K, and then uh, we got what Kid Viper. Kid Viper. In Japan, I just know Karinchu. 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 So basically, Karen like Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. Karen Chu. Karinchu. <laughs> so so, but if there's anyone in the chat that you know wants to shout anybody out for some some awesome Johnny players, you know, right. throw it throw it out there so you get you get a shout out for your boy <laughs> or your girl. Some people are saying Omito, Jonio. Jonio. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, Omito. Uh, Omito is also yeah, really. Yeah, we good. got a lot of Omitos, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, uh, Sato, Sato. S A T O U. Dude, I'm telling you right now, like, I watch Karinchu Johnny's, and, like, he touches you with a coin, it's the, it's and then the next time he hits you, the uh, other character explodes. That's just <laughs> how I just said, like, they just blow up, and they lose all this life, and then they're stuck in the mist, and they die. It's just, ah, oh, it's ridiculous. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for Evo. And then, of course, oh. and of course, one last thing, which is just the coolest thing ever, is Johnny's instant kill. It's I just, just gotta watch it. Oh, it's so good. Uh -huh. We're not gonna be able to see the whole thing, because it's training mode, but... <laughs> see the part that you don't get to see is uh oh you get to see a little bit of that but right at the end he turns and smiles yeah dude oh. <laughs> oh, he's so cool <laughs> Johnny's so cool he's so badass that there you go so that's Johnny pretty much in a nutshell uh, right so there. so they're saying that the dust loop thread for Johnny has been really really good oh okay okay so cool. shout out to shout out to Brett up in NorCal. We'll see you at the evil, we'll see you at the evil, dog. Oh, yeah, so, like, there's also, like, yeah, like, you can get, like, throw loops in the corner, so I just, I, I, I want to see if I can do my throw loop now. <laughs> the stream pressure. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's you cool. can do that two that's times cool. and, like, cool. go over okay. all these crazy things. All right, yeah. so that's Johnny for you, and yep. what a character. <laughs> so what a character. So good. <laughs>